All right, people watching this on uh, TikTok, or if you're in class, or even if you're uh, zooming from home, next show we're gonna do here is called a flower show. What you really need is a brush about the right size of the petals. So you need a, a large brush for large flowers, smaller brush for smaller flowers. When you squish it down, it's gonna be the right size of the petal. You're gonna twist it and make it come in. And then there's all different types of flowers. Um, so in general, uh, burnt sienna and orange make a good petal. And if you want variegated, which means white and a color, you add just a dot of white to it and don't mix it. It can look kind of cool. Not mixed, so watch this. I'm gonna take this, fan it out the right size of a, of a petal. And I'll squish it out until it goes into the petal shape and bring it down and then twist it until it go, goes in there a little bit. So, and it's like going to be, I uh, see the different strands of colors that are in there. I start in the back so when, the, when I get forward here, the, the other ones will overlap. And then on some of the really large petals, you might need to take two brush strokes. In between, you do the, each petal change the colors a little more, maybe add a little more burnt sienna, like this one right here. I'll come, now these are gonna get bigger, wider down here, come up and spin, go for the center. This is gonna be one row of petals. Now I'm gonna come in here and do a little more, change color every single time. A little more burnt sienna, just because I can. Try to hold, or hide that ugly ass thing down there in the bottom and bring that up, turn it, aim to the middle. And then I'll do the same thing. And this is like lower, there's gonna be two levels of petals. I'll show you those, I'll do half the flower. A little white as well. Now I'm doing a little bit of the white. This one's gonna be the biggest one. I'll start here, spin. I'll do one more to make it look like it's a larger petal, same process. These are kind of droopy, so I'm following the lines you had, but then I'll have a, another cup of flowers, of petals that are gonna be uh, a little happier looking. And down here, squish, spin, turn, aim to the middle. All right, this one I'm gonna do more variegated. That means I have more white to it. And flop it in there, go over the wing. So once you get the flow down, you don't want to like interrupt your flow. You know what I'm saying? Okay, <clears throat> now with that, I can come in with a smaller brush. I can trick it out just a little bit more. I'll take a, definitely a small round brush, but I don't have one. So then I can come in here with a little bit more of the white. Dave Dinky on. And here, smooth. That one didn't have enough water in it. This is to make the kind of like the edges have a little more texture to them. Go from like nothing and then press harder at the end. Nothing, harder at the end. I'm going to the middle on all of these. Now it's starting to have these like old bands to them. So it's feathered. Oh, I said let me do half. Okay. And then this will sink in here. So first, before I do that, where the stamen is, come in here with that. I'm gonna go darker in that middle and then I'll put lighter colors on top. I've got a little black and orange, a little burnt sienna. And with this, I'll come in here and I'll go uh, extra dark. That is one ugly color. I'll rinse out my brush. Try that again with a better color. Black, burnt sienna. Could even use a little purple. I'm, I'm going violet. I'm going a little purple. Magenta. I work still in a color harmony, so that'll still work. And then, uh, that'll still make it look darker. All right, so then I'll come in here with this. And then, I really do need a small round brush. And this is kind of wet paint as it comes up. In the middle of this, I'm going to put the little seed pod things. So 
take it and then just go pew, let it flow out. Pew, pew, pew. All right, so then if you have that part kind of like blocked out a little bit, do my second layer of flower petals. These are happier petals. They're up a little more, maybe more saturated. A little more white. Smaller, so like right in here. I'll come in on the side over here, overlap them. They're a little hard to see right now, but they won't be in a second. I'll go back and add the details to them. Same thing here, just like boop, and let it flow in. Brighter now, a little more orange and white. <clears throat> Wipe off my hands. Oh, that was a nice one. And over here, same thing. Squish, pull, and twist. And you're starting to get those levels of the flowers. All right, then you let that dry a little bit. I need a small, how do I not have a small round brush? If only I had a small round brush. Yes, please. I need it. Otherwise, the show can't go on. All right. Okay, I have a small round brush that might have formerly been a stick in its earlier life. And with that, I'm going to start doing the shadows. Shadows, I'll start with a dark value, maybe a little bit of purple in there. Then mm -hmm. in here, I'll start separating the flowers. A little shadow up underneath that. And I'll like fade it out just a little bit. And so now we're starting to get definition. Be better with a better brush. And here, how they overlap as well. So I'm going and cutting in, getting the flower, getting the light source in there. Then I'll have that one floating in even quite a bit above it. So what I'm gonna do with that, milk the kitten, because I don't have a choice. And a pedal on that thing. <clears throat> so it's really simple to paint flowers. And then flowers can add like a lot to your painting. It's like, man, I'm missing something. Bam, flower it. You're missing something in the sky? Burn it. Missing something on your ground? Flower it. Now that's a brush. Should have waited for that one. All right, so then on the side, same. Oop, I'm not gonna do that side. Man, that looks a little scratchy. I'm gonna fix that. Go back into the orange, feather that out a little more. Bring the lines down. So you don't want it to look like you went like this. So even though it's round, I'm gonna now take the orange and feather it out. So it has like a little bit of a texture kind of thing to it. So that's more of a dramatic shadow. <clears throat> now I'll go back in there again. Right here, I'll make this look like it overlaps right about here. And with that one, one brush stroke, which I don't like, and I'll fade it out by taking multiple small brush strokes. <clears throat> All right, so then we have kind of like the overlaying tier system we got going on here. And then here, same thing. And then I still got to do the variegated part on the top flowers. So on that, I'll come back into the white. Now they have a good brush. And almost nothing. And then lightly get it a little bit more edgy. So it's gonna be skinny to fat, skinny to fat. Skinny to fat. Skinny to fat, skinny to fat. Skinny to fat, skinny to fat. And those are your flowers. All right, a little bit of an edge there. No, not a big deal. So then I'll do more shadows on this one. I can make this more dramatic, cut in with a darker shadow, make it look like it's above there even more. And then take the orange, feather that up by going this way. So I'm gonna start pure orange 
and go right into that shadow color. All right, and then with flowers, for the petals, if you have some white to them to make them look like a little bit of a sheen, that's kind of like the magic part of flowers. So we'll give them like little happier lines on them. So like right here. A little edge on them right there. Makes them pop out a little more. Same thing here. Then I'll, I'll flick it back in. So I'm taking that and flicking it back into the flower. And flick it with the wrist, flick it with the wrist, flick it with the wrist. Flicka, flicka. All right, and then here, the same thing. All right, now going back into the stamen. Start with that. Oh, uh, what color? That yellow. Yellow, dark purple. So I'm going to go purple, dark yellow, complementary colors. I'll start dark here in the beginning now. As it curves around here, it'll be hard edge. As it goes down kind of fast. And I'll flick this up. That'll be the base for it. So hard edge there and then float it. Now I'll take yellow for the pollen. And this should be a warm yellow, but I don't have it, so whatever. And this could be even like thick paint right here. And that goes over the purple. Hard to see it. I need a little more. Maybe a touch of white. I'll cheat. Add some green and that yellow. That'd make it kind of fugly. All right, so now I've got a little bit more of a thicker bit. See how thick that is? Nice. Oh, I like that one. All right, then we have that. Now the stamen, uh, these don't really have too much of a stamen, but the stamens are kind of cool. Normally they're kind of yellowish green. <laughs> yellowish green. Some burnt sienna. Milk the kitten. Too fat. Let me see. A little more white so you can see it better. That's why this butterfly is a little hot for this thing. Look at the size of that stamen. That's hot. Then on the top part, it's going to be more of a bulbous. Pollinator thing. Or like burnt sienna, kind of a brown. Okay. <clears throat> That's one of many types of flowers you guys can do.